going on there guys we're back with another one we got to talk about this south carolina lsu thing again and kim mulkey being under fire after the approach she took in the post game presser and don staley you know the way she handled it with class and we look at some of the things like angel reese and flage went through earlier this year right and we saw their former teammate alexis morris chiming in on it and I feel like that was crazy, you know, to come back and talk about your former teammates. There may have been tension between the girls, but I don't think it was no place. But it was so much so that the mothers had gotten involved in it. Uh, yesterday, we saw Angel Reese take a moment with Flage in the heat of the battle and give her a hug, embrace her, and show that leadership in a difficult time. And uh, Shannon Sharp, he spoke about it today. We're going to take a look at all of that. One thing I will say is Kim Mulkey suspended angel reese earlier this year and really didn't give no insight on it just said conduct detrimental to the team but it seems like when angel uh gets really physical out there or when she feels like there's a threat to the team she wants angel to handle it in a physical manner and that's okay to have your best player enforcing but it's almost like she you know she's viewing angel as a hitman you don't want your best player or you don't really want any player to be like your hitman you know she's hyping angel up to go do that no angel's a phenomenal basketball player and she was hurt and she was limited to the bench when all that was going on yesterday we're gonna check all that out uh shannon sharp's response uh what alexis morris had to say we're gonna check it all out it's ugly it's not good um, no one wants to be a part of that. No one wants to see, to, to see that ugliness. But I can tell you this, I wish she would have pushed Angel Reese. Down one time in front of our bench and she tried to get up and she hit the girl again and then Angel got a piece of her on the way down. Uh, Angel wasn't gonna let that girl do that to her teammate. Uh, Y'all probably didn't see it, did you? Huh? Okay. It was like, you just did that to my teammate. I'm going to give you a body check right here. Uh, not dirty. That's, that's just, I got your back, teammate. And uh, that's how you build what you ask about as you go down this road in February. It's just good team chemistry. You see what I did to South Carolina last year by myself. I didn't have my team. My team wasn't ready. I can say it now. Yeah, I played against South Carolina last year by myself. My team was scared. Either way it go, that was that would not have happened. Like you gotta have a you gotta have a leader on the court. We don't have a leader on the court to be like, hey, we not about to engage. We not about to initiate. We not about to start. No type of confrontation. Did you see the two differences in the stories and the coaches? You see what Don Staley said and how she tried to downplay it? And you see Kim Mulkey, how she tried to upplay it? I understand this is an SEC championship game. There's a lot riding on it. LSU, if I'm not mistaken, hadn't beaten South Carolina in a very, very long time. And now we're in the SEC championship. And you know, when you, you take things, you mean it figuratively, not literally. Oh, we're going to fight. We're going to fight them tooth and nail. We're going to scratch and claw. We're going to do everything we can. You give nothing, you allow them to take nothing. But Kim Mulkey, instead of saying, you know what, sometimes when emotion is high, logic is low. And that was not what women college basketball is about, especially with the love and support that the women game has received this year. Thanks to Caitlin Clark, thanks to USC, Ajuju Watkins, and some of the others. But for you to take that stand, I wish Cardoso would have pushed Angel Reese. Really? Is that what you want? You want to see a fight? You want the women's game to be marred by a fight? Really? Come on, Kim Mulkey. You've got to be better. And we've got to start doing a better job of holding Kim Mulkey accountable and responsible for some of her comments. We let that stuff slide because she's a national champion. I refuse to do that. I believe she was wrong in this instance. And Don Staley showed the utmost class and respect, not only for the game itself, but for her team and for the opposing team. I wish Kim Mulkey had to show that level of respect. Yeah, man, so that was Shannon Sharp's thoughts on it. I think 
as a coach, you teach your players to be tough. You teach you teach them not to get bullied and pushed around because that is one way a team can dictate the whole game. And if you let one team be too aggressive defensively, they'll get a favorable whistle just off of having that team identity over you, and you won't get that same whistle. Y'all can make the same play. You'll get whistled for a foul, and they'll let it be a play on for them. So I understand what Kim Mulkey is saying about uh, not letting uh, somebody push your teammates around, different things like that. The problem is it seems like she's designated that just for Angel, and Angel is one of your best players, you know, on that team and a future WNBA player. And you don't really want that around Angel's name. Now, all of the players, well, a few of the players involved yesterday, including Cardosa and Angel Reese, have deeply apologized for their part in the melee, or I can't really call it a melee, but a little mix up yesterday where all the girls were ejected yesterday. And Cardoso won't be available for the first round of the NCAA tournament. And, you know, Angel smartly walked to the bench. And she already had a limp. She had already gotten hurt on one of the previous plays. So she had to go regroup. Uh, now, as far as Kim Mulkey saying she shouldn't push a girl that was that size, I mean, it happens in men's sports, you know. So Cardoso went over there and her lip was bleeding. So I don't know exactly what happened between her and Flage Park prior or was that another player that busted her lip but she went over there with intentions you know uh bad intentions because flage had kind of pushed her teammate out the way who was taunting flage in her face so it was a lot of things going on uh, as far as alexis morris uh i just don't like what she's doing looking back on the program that helped her develop as a player to get to where she is today there's no need to now look back and talk about what went wrong, you know, in college. Because what it looks like is hating on NIL, and hating on the opportunities that the girls have or the young women have now in the college game. Whether you get along with them or not, you know, you don't want to close the door on that potential friendship in the future. You know what I'm saying? And Angel or Flage could land on your WNBA team in the future and y'all be back together. Now it's weird because you've been on the internet talking instead of letting time heal the wound. So um, I'm not a big fan of what she's saying. As far as what Shannon Sharp is saying, Shannon has been consistent about calling out people that's been getting a pass. And Kim Mulkey, she shouldn't have said that. Uh, I like what Don Staley is doing as a coach. And she's always defended, like, even if a lady is on the other team, she's defending them when people started coming at them too tough and um kim has to kind of reel it back in when something like that happens she can't just be like oh yeah that was a good fight and all that stuff and and really hyping it up you got to reel your players in you you'll mess around go out there and march and get into something and lose all your best players and now you done lost in the second round because you can't reel your players in or you're encouraging that type of behavior so it's a fine line you know you want to have um you you want to have tough players but you want them to be smart too smart and tough let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to next time peace